it's him from Pop Turnus P to James Bingham about season two of Swagger on Apple TV Plus. Welcome back to the show, man. It's so good to see you again, dude. And thank you for having me. It's, it's an honor to be back here, man. It's amazing. And it's interesting because now you had two seasons of playing Drew. And I feel like season one is interesting because you're all like, you've never played this character before. So you're kind yeah. of like, you're going in with what the scripts give you. And you're talking to all the showrunners and, and Reggie and everything. But now, like, you've played him for two seasons. Do you feel like you understand this character? Or were you still kind of learning about him as you were filming season two? I mean, look, you know, I, in me as James Bingham, I'm always learning things about myself every day. You yeah. know what I mean? I think as a character, it's it's hard to know everything like that. And um, yeah, we've had two seasons now, but I think, you know, every single, every single script that you read, every single, you know, maze that we, that we get given, um, it just it adds another layer onto, onto the Drew masterpiece, you know what I mean? Which it's, it keeps building, which is so exciting to, you know, to keep playing um, some different things and to keep adding different kind of, uh, you know, tropes to your, to your bag, which is ex exciting. So I think season two has a lot to offer for Drew though. So I'm really looking forward to, to, you know, showing everyone what he, what he has. Season two, the stakes are just elevated everywhere. And even before you probably got scripts for season two, I feel like you and the kind of guys were kind of talking about maybe that was probably going to happen after how season one ended. <laughs> <laughs> we had a lot of, um, yeah, we had a lot of back and forth, you know, you know, arguments about, nah, it's going to be like that. It's going to be like that. But uh, yeah, when we got the script, we were just blown away because um, it just elevates the show completely from season one. And um, oh, I'm just so excited to see everyone's reactions, really. It's interesting because I told you this last year. I mean, was it last year or the year before? Was it two years ago? What, like, when did season one come out? Came out last, last yeah, year. it was last year. Yeah, yeah last year. for yeah, sure. Yeah. And I, it's hard for me to, like, I, to find a show like Swagger that is able to tackle so many issues in one tv show like it's actually crazy to think it's, about it, yeah no, it, 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 it is and it, it's it's crazy to be, be a part of it you know yeah. what i mean like you, you're kind of filming this this show um just because you know you're, you're acting in a tv show with your mates like it's so cool but then you really you know delve into it and you're like well like we're actually touching some subjects here which which makes it just so much better that knowing that it's there's a purpose yeah. You know what I mean? Like it, it, it creates such a, a better atmosphere, like on set and you know around everyone. I wanted to ask. Obviously, we're going to talk specifically about your character, but you know, um, Isaiah Hill plays Jace Carson. Every episode in season two, I feel like, and you know, your character is kind of there for the ride and everything. But every episode is a big episode for Jace Carson. Like, there's always something happening with right. him offer on right. the court so with that kind of happening what is your mindset preparation wise as an actor knowing that a lot of your kind of teammates and your castmates on the show even though like J drew's got his stuff that he's dealing with but mm. like there's like his friends on the show that are literally like going through like crazy things every episode like that must be emotional right. from an acting perspective as well right yeah i mean it, it, it it's it's a lot it, yeah. it definitely is a lot, um, but I think because we're all doing it together and we kind of have had about four years, you know, knowing each other and playing these characters, it kind of it kind of makes it a lot easier to to, to face these problems as these characters um, because we become you know so closer, so much more closer. We understand each other. The chemistry is real. You know, everything you see is, is real. So I think, you know, looking at Isaiah and, and Jason and Solomon, Khalil, the, like, the the tackles that they're, they're the, the, you know, the problems that they're facing as a character is a lot, but they they tackle it so well, man. Like, they're so good. Like, yeah. like I, I get nervous going into a, to yeah, a, a scene. Yeah, but you're also really good too, dude. <laughs> Thank you, bro. But it, they're just so good. And I, it elevates everyone around them, you know what I mean? So they play their characters just impeccably absolutely impeccably i've said it once i've said it before and i'll say it again this is not only one of the best shows on tv it's one of the most important shows on tv i've said that before and i'm gonna continue yeah, to say that man i'm just saying <laughs> like, I, was, I, was, I was like reggie man i'm telling you i spoke to him recently too like 
I don't know yeah. how he does. I don't know how he. What goes on here? Yeah. I don't know, but it's 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 beautiful. And sometimes beautiful. it feels like there's like eight things happening in one episode, <laughs> it, it, but then it all like comes together, right? You know what I mean? It comes that? together. I don't know. It's written. It's written great. Yeah. Um, it is. Are you still starting to get used? Are you still starting to get used to the fact that you're on a show that's about basketball, but at the same time you're on a show that's not about basketball? Because that was a big thing I took away from season one. Again, took it away from season two. This show has basketball in it. I don't know if it's a basketball or a show about sports. It's very interesting to think about. Right, right. I, I think I think Reggie Rock, you know, he says it perfectly. He says, you know, we get the audience at the edge of their seat with basketball and then you hit them with the truth. You know what I mean? And I think that is just so powerful when you really think about it. But, you know, I'm just adjusting to even being in America, like on a, on a show, like with like with my mates. Like, it's just so unreal. You know Absolutely. what I mean? And, and and Reggie has a really good way of like of creating this environment on set. And when you go to work, it's it's really it's like every you know, everything you do is beyond yourself. You know, you, the purpose is so much higher. So everyone kind of correct, you know, comes together to create this big, you know, masterpiece. So season two is a product of that. And I cannot wait for people to see it. Season one had that social media kind of element where it was showing kind of tweets and everything. And we get that again in season two. What we also but what we get in season um two that we d- didn't get in season one is um Drew and Musa started a podcast, which I think is Pretty awesome. Was that like, I want to know when you found out about that kind of angle. Like, did you guys like, were, was that just kind of in the scripts? Were you told by Reggie, by the way, you guys were going to add kind of the podcast landscape to the show? I'm yeah. curious about that. So we, um, me, Khalil and myself, we were, I think we were at just one of the rehearsals, you know, a couple of weeks before we started um, filming. So it was pre-production at some point. And Steve uh, Diabaldo, you know, great writer, he he, he kind of mentioned to me that, um, yeah, this season is kind of cool. You have your own podcast and stuff. And me and Khalil were like, well, it's crazy. Like, let's start our own <laughs> podcast. Like, we wanted to start our own podcast just to kind of, you know, have fun with it and make it real. So we kind of went to um, – I went to Khalil's room that night, I think, and we just discussed ideas and and practiced what it would what it would sound like, you know, in a real environment. Like, kind of, we we had to these topics that we could talk about and just bounced off each other. So when we got to the scene, it kind of it felt real that we yep. were talking about this. And, um, and he's such a great guy to to act alongside. He's just so <laughs> he's just so funny. Like, I just love him. Like, I love that guy so much. And he's great. He's great too. So. No, it's a great angle. I love it. And you know. Again, I don't want to go into much, and I love how you're answering these questions because you're really doing a very good job of like not saying as much. <laughs> no, because you got to go in fresh with this show. Let's be honest, man. Like, Look, it's yeah, so hard. You have to go in. We both yeah. know what happens. I know it is hard. It is hard. <laughs> it's exciting. Yeah, it is, I'm, but yeah, I'm trying to answer this as much as you know. No. People can watch it with open mind. You know. Did you notice the growth of Drew immediately after reading um, the scripts for the first episode of season two? <laughs> I knew that there was going to be a big jump for. Well, for there Drew was, there's a big jump character. with everyone in the first episode. Yeah, if you think about 100%. it, hundred yeah. percent. <laughs> and I can't. When I read that, I was like, "Yeah, this is this is going to be." Because we can talk about that there. because that's out now. <laughs> Yeah, no, <laughs> exactly, no. So, yeah, there was a lot of things to get excited for. And um, there is, yeah, there's a lot more episodes to come out, which are just unreal. Man. It's interesting, and, right? Because there's the week-to-week drops and then there's like the binge drop that like Netflix does and everything. I, know, I, I personally yeah, like it's, both, it's, but there's something about the week-to-week drop that it makes you-, you Which one do you prefer? I, I like them both. I think, I don't know if I could pick one, to be honest with you. I, I like them yeah. both. Um, yeah. You know, binging, binging like takes a lot out of me. You know, it's yeah. it's mentally draining. You know, <laughs> but, you know when you week, watch when you watch like a Who Done It murder mystery show though, like the <laughs> the the, the week to week is the best because you have like the dinner table cool. conversations and then you find <laughs> out and then at the end you're all wrong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Oh. No, exactly. Yeah, man. Did I tell you dad jokes last time you were on my show? Because you're like we're, you because we're in like a good that. we're in like a good mood and everything. Did I tell you? Did, I didn't tell you my dad jokes, right? I uh, just hit hit me. Hit okay, me. why shouldn't you trust stairs like staircase? <laughs> You've already got me. <laughs> because they're, why? Because they're always up to something. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Oh boy. 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal that one. For and then sure. you know, you know, you went to that restaurant on the moon. You said it was had great food, but it had zero atmosphere. <laughs> God, this is nice. I know. Come on. You had, that, you had that summer job in Australia at the shoe factory, but you quit because you said it was soul destroying. <laughs> oh my God, man. Yeah, do you I, like these slices up, man? <laughs> I have, I don't know. I got a dad joke calendar for Christmas one year, oh, and that was a big mistake. That's a good present. It was a mistake that's, because yeah. I have them rapid fire. You know what I mean? Just like there was, wake up. There, uh, that, there was that kidnapping that happened in the news, the kidnapping. It's okay. He woke Ooh. up. Uh, yeah i know and you know what i'm gonna tell you something i use those all the time with other interviews as well and i get called out in the comments like get more jokes use the same four or five but those those <laughs> ones that they hit so hard so if they like, work man just keep <laughs> you get a bag just use the bag man what is honestly. james bingham's favorite thing about being a storyteller what do you love the most about it is it diving into all these worlds playing these different characters is there something you like the most about it I just feel, thing. Look, there's so much. This it's just such a hard question to answer. But I think every single story yep. um, involves different things. Really, which is quite simple way to put it. But for instance, you meet so much more, so many new people when you're doing when you're telling other stories, yep. and you kind of it's you have a you have a cause bigger than yourself, which I think is the most um, important reason. Uh, because it's not just, you know, you're the only one telling the story. You kind of come together and you tell it um, as, a, as, a, as a group. And and just playing different things. Like, you know, for Swagger, I'm, I'm playing an American <clears throat> an American basketball player. Yeah. Like, I mean, what? What is that? And then next, you know, hopefully next time I could play like a, a doctor or like a, a national, you know what I mean? Like all these different stories and all these different um, circumstances that you have to adjust to, so. Uh, yeah, really lucky, man. it's crazy. And I think it all stems from the fact that, you know, because myself, I'm a creative as well and everything. And like, I feel like we just like making things. I think it's just as simple as that, right? It's like, what what were you like? What were you like in school? Were, were you like a kind of a maths, like history, science person? Or what, what were you, did you like English? Because you get to create things. What, what yeah, was your... I liked English. I, I really liked like multimedia class. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, that's fair enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 but I liked, I, I actually loved like English class and yeah. um, I, I, I liked math. Uh, no, I didn't like math. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm supposed to ask the questions here. You know? yeah, no, my bad. I'm interested because <laughs> you have such a creative mind. I'm, no, I I'm, know. I'm... I, I think it all stemmed from I always loved seeing kind of the big pictures of things growing up. Mm. So for example, I loved being able to kind of like, we had, I went to like a school that kind of allowed us to do like a book report. We did a book report dude on like a cereal box and like we created a cereal box and then every, Crazy. yeah. So basically like we, we, it was a book we did and then you pick a book and it's like the, title of the book is like the front of the cereal box and then at the back you know where all the nutrition information is is like the synopsis right. right it was stuff like that right and yeah, yeah i know yeah. i know it's crazy and i just feel like i just love making this i love also the idea of having an amazing idea mm. and then making it and then waiting mm. and then the world seeing it i think that's that's like the craziest thing I think it's a weird feeling. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Like nothing. You make this yeah. show. It's your show. It's 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 James Bingham's show. It's Solomon Rama's show. It's Isaiah Hill's <clears> show. <throat> it's your show. It's Reggie Bly, Rock Rock Bly. That's his show. But now it's the world show. It's crazy. It's trippy. Well, when you put it like that, it's just so weird, eh? Like <clears throat> it's it's weird, man. But yeah. It, it, so I never thought about that. Like, it's not, you know, it's not our show. It's, it's, it's the world's show, like from the, from the get go, you know what I mean? Like that's our sole purpose is to, is to put this to the world, man. So um, I'm so excited for people to see this season, man. Like just, episodes yeah, rolling I'm, out now on Apple TV plus. So season two, I love hey. the show so much, man. I love it so much. I'm such a fan. <laughs> no, it's, I'm looking forward to it, man. Like, Keep, yeah. keep, keep posted. Keep posted for sure. Absolutely. James, so <laughs> great chatting with you again, man. Thank you so much for coming back on the show. Man, it's great to see you again. Thank you for having me. This is no perfect. No problem. Your Instagram is just your name, right? James Bingham? 
Uh, two J's. Two, two J's. J's. JJ Bingham. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, well, yeah. it's been Pop Turner. If you go to slash Pop Turner for previous episodes, you can, of course, catch James Bingham as Drew in season two of Swagger on Apple TV+. Plus. Till next time, this is James and Peter Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.